I've been working in Newdorf since probably about 1978. Native Staten Islander, grew up in South Beach, moved to my existing home now on Bay Terrace in 62, and have seen quite a few changes on Staten Island. And over the years, we've seen Newdorf change tremendously. Uh, the traffic has been tremendous change. Um, the building, you know, taking down one house, putting up four houses, which we see all over Staten Island. Um, mom and pop businesses here have unfortunately sort of disappeared and dwindled. We had Newt Up Lumber right down the street, which was a main lumber yard and coal yard for years. The luggage shop was a biggie down there. There was various uh, clothes stores, La Exclusif, um, uh, down the end. The, uh, there used to be the post office down on, um, I believe it's Clawson in Newt Up Lane. That is now a Chinese restaurant. Um, so it was, it was a great place to shop when growing up, when I was a kid, you shopped in either Port Richmond or you shopped in New York. Those were the two. That was before the mall. It was all dress stores and now it's all Chinese food and nail salons and pizzerias. I forget how many pizzerias are on today. Uh, Lane Theater was one of the theaters on Staten Island and it was great because it was in walking distance. I, when I first started coming here um, by train, the train was where South Railroad is now. Then they did the whole, the old train station was there with the furnace inside, you used to heat your hands up. Then they moved the train station to Richmond Town, which I remember coming up New York Lane. And uh, slowly it just evolved into what it is today, which is a traffic nightmare. Um, but the people here are still nice. My daughters went to school across the street, a lady queen of peace, very nice school. Um, it's a very close knit area. Newdorp still has a lot of tree-lined, quiet streets. So there's lots of history here in Newdorp. Um, Staten Island at one time had 13 Civil War camps, uh, a couple of which were actually here in Newdorp, where Miller Field is now, it used to be the Vanderbilt Mansion. Um, and that was way before the seaplane, aviation that was there. Vanderbilt had his mansion there so he could see his mausoleum up on the hill because there was no trees and he could also see his ships coming in. So that was where he lived and it was the perfect scenario for both. Um, when you're fishing off Staten Island and you come across Cedar Grove, it's like its own little entity. And the, the properties were passed on from generation to generation. The Holtemans were there, Newdorp Lumber, the owners of them, they had a, a place down there. And it was just a great place and it was not private. Anybody could go there. Everybody was assumed it was a private community. It was not. It's a part of Newdorp that is never going to exist again. It's, it's just going to change, and you're going to have to just change, you know, roll with the changes and try and make the best of it like we've always done. You know, I hope that my kids one day will say, I remember Newdorp when this was, a, this was an ice cream place. So I remember they're going to have their memories of here, and they're still good memories at this point in time.